guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bear Makeup here. If you guys are new, then you are in for one of the most iconic makeup reviews I will ever do on my channel. I'm so excited for today. I'm going to be reviewing Jeffree Star times Shane Dawson collection. I went out and purchased pretty much everything. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys what my unbiased opinion is on this product launch. I'm also gonna be doing a massive giveaway, giving away all the products from this collection. So make sure you guys continue watching this video to the very end so you can learn how to enter. Don't forget to hit that red giant subscribe button before we begin guys so you're already one step ahead. Turn on your post notifications and let's dive in into today's product review. Now, now, rocking with. All right guys, so if you are new to my channel, then you probably are unaware of how I do my product reviews. And I like to make it very simple for you guys. I like to have a lot of structure so that you guys go boom, 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 is this product for me? So with that being said, I have a total of four categories that I will be going over today. The first is going to be the packaging of the product. Second is going to be the range. Third is gonna be application. And last but not least, I'm gonna be showing you guys the price and give you my overall rating. This is all rated from one to five stars one being the least, five being the most. And at the end, you guys will have my final thoughts on if this product is verified. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into the two eyeshadow palettes that Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star collaborated on. All right guys, so here I am holding an iconic palette. So as you guys can see, he went for this static cardboard box type of feel. So it says, mini controversy, Jeffree Star times Shane Dawson. He kept it very simple from what I thought he was gonna go for for the smaller palette. But once again, this is just the outside box. Let's go ahead and open it and see what's inside. So here you have the actual mini controversy palette. Woo, you guys, I feel like honored to see this in person because you follow the documentary and you get to see how they created it and all the blood, sweat, and tears that went into this and their thought process behind it and to actually physically hold it and understand the vision is really, really exciting. So as you guys can see, he went for a cardboard type of feel for the smaller palette. It has controversy on it, which is very beautiful in 3D white lettering. And then he has this multicolored palette action going on. So when opening up the palette, Palette. Here you guys have it. Here are the eyeshadows, panned out, laid, ready to go. I'm gonna include this in packaging because they went ahead and they pressed different little objects in each one of these shadows, which you guys, I feel like video does not do it justice. Seeing it in person and understanding the detail and the way it's so precisely carved and cut out is mind blowing. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this controversy palette a total of five stars. I am actually really, really impressed. I think they did a really good job job creating this and I'm really excited for this palette. I'm excited to try it. So let's go ahead, let's talk about the next palette, which is literally one that I have waited to open. I have not opened it yet. The Conspiracy Palette. All right guys, so here you have the Conspiracy Palette and this is just I am so excited. So this has like a very hypnotic feel to it. It has the black and white spirals going on. And then it has this beautiful gold lettering that says conspiracy. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at the actual palette itself. So here you have the conspiracy palette. This box is epic. Like I don't even know how to process this. Watching them create this box and watching how many trials they went through to finally pick this final design is something that is just so surreal to actually physically hold and understand how beautiful the vision came to life. So on the front you have Conspiracy as well as Shane Dawson's logo. It has once again that very hypnotic feel to it but this time it's in a matte black as well as a glossy black. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the flasks. All right, so let's go ahead and open it. You guys, once again, they gave us a beautiful large mirror. So obviously once I take off the plastic, this turns into a mirror that I can do my makeup on. I could set it down and it can be like a semi-small vanity. And then you have all of the eyeshadows panned out. Once again, the details on the eyeshadow, you guys. I mean, they went in and 
precisely carved out all of these symbols from stars to pigs to tea. This palette, you guys, I am just mind blown. The packaging will blow your mind. They did a phenomenal job, without a doubt, five stars for the Conspiracy palette. Like there is not one doubt in my mind that this feels and looks incredible. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the mini controversy palette. Let's go ahead and look at the colors that Shane and Jeffrey gave us. So opening up this palette, you're gonna have a total of nine shades. I have to say, these nine shades are extremely random. I will be completely honest with you guys. You have, I wanna say about two, no, you have about three metallic shades. So you're gonna have those shimmer shades and then the rest are matte. So right here, I mean, this is telling me a color story. This is a color story. I guess this could be a moment as well, but then you have a random burgundy and a light blue. This, in my opinion, is giving us a limited amount of shades for an eyeshadow palette. And I think we all kind of knew going into this that Shane was picking colors that he felt he loved and that's absolutely okay. If you were a Shane Dawson fan and he gave you all nine shades purple, I mean, you would buy it no matter what. And I completely understand that. But if you are an everyday girl looking for an everyday palette, you are not gonna find that in the mini controversy palette. It definitely is a little bit sporadic. It's a little bit more fun and it's for the girl out there who likes to play with color. So with that being said, guys, I wanna be very unbiased and I do wanna rate this a total of 2.5 stars. Here you have it, you have a total of 18 shades that he gave us. So I understand when looking at this palette that this is Shane's vision of a palette. This is what he wanted to give us. He wanted to give us himself. That's absolutely okay. If I'm going to look at this palette and say, is this the palette I'm gonna use every single day of my life? Chances are I will use the first top row very, very often. But these colors, I'm gonna dabble into maybe once or twice, you know, here and there. That is just my honest opinion. And that is why my heart is so torn because I love Shane and I love Jeffrey and I get it because I watched the documentary, but I want to be completely unbiased when I say that these colors definitely are all over the place. Even though the colors make sense for a lot of the fans, they don't for your everyday girl. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and rate the Controversy palette a three. And that is because he did give us neutrals and nudes, but this isn't gonna be your everyday go-to palette. It's gonna be one of those collector's items, special editions you hold, you know, high in your makeup room, that you look at, you take out every now and then. So with that being said, guys, a solid three for the range. All right guys, so now it's time to talk about something that is extremely important when you are buying an eyeshadow palette. It's gonna be the application of the eyeshadows. Now apart from them looking beautiful and just aesthetically pleasing us with the eyes, I wanna see, do they work? So we're totally gonna dive into this palette and we're gonna see right now what we think. So I'm gonna start off by doing one look with the mini controversy palette and on the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and use the conspiracy palette. So let's go ahead, let's dip into Diet Root Beer and let's work this in the crease to see the pigmentation. I mean, it's already there. You guys, like right off the bat, the pigmentation. Oh my God. I mean, this Diet Root Beer has to be my new go-to brown shade. This is stunning. You guys, I just wanna say that this is blending out so perfectly that I myself am sitting here and I am just blown away. You guys, Diet Root Beer, my new go-to crease color, I am just blown away. This color is phenomenal and amazing and it blended so bomb. So let's go ahead, let's go into another color right here. Let's go into Expose. I love the name of this, it's so freaking cute. So let's see if we can expose this eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and tap this onto the lid. I mean, for a pastel color to be this pigmented, I am literally blown away. Pastels are normally never this pigmented. They're always like chalky or they just don't go on and actually look the right color. Sometimes you have to layer the eyeshadows. This is stunning. So next up, I'm gonna try the Controversy shade, which is this pretty, pretty purple. I wanna say it kind of reminds me of Barney, I'm not gonna lie, but it looks very pretty in the pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place this in the corner of my eye and see how this comes out pigment-wise. Wow. I don't even know what to say. Like, his products are phenomenal. 
I mean, the fallout is like zero to none. The pigment is beyond beautiful. The creaminess, the texture, everything about these eyeshadows are just so insane. It's really crazy to see how well they work and to be able to use them like, ah. I have nothing negative to say about the formula. I also want to try this Cry on My Couch shade. This is also from this palette. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on the brow bone and just kind of blend this in. It's like a beautiful brow bone color. I mean, so good. So good. Like, there's nothing negative, I have to say. I mean, application for the mini controversy palette, wow. I mean, must I say more? Five stars without a doubt. Like, this is not being biased. This formula is incredible. So with that being said, guys, five stars for Mini Controversy. It is time to go into conspiracy. And I am so excited to see if the quality is very similar to the first palette and what we're working with in this one. So because I went for more of a matte finish on this side, I'm gonna use a lot of the shimmers as well on this side and kind of create a different look. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start off with the color called Tanacon. And I'm gonna place this color into the crease of my eye and kind of see the pigmentation of it. It is a very light brown on this, so I'm very curious to see how this applies on my eye and how it looks. So this color definitely is a little bit more subtle, but the pigmentation is there. I do wanna say it's like a more orange light brown as opposed to a brown shade that I had going on in this crease. So it kinda has like an orange undertone to it. It's applying beautifully, but it definitely is very subtle. So this is a nice crease color and a nice transition color. So I'm gonna go into What's the Tea, which is so freaking cute. It is this beautiful seafoam green shade. And I'm gonna press this onto my lid. So pretty, guys. Oh my god. So this color gave me a little bit of fallout as opposed to this shade, but it's nothing crazy because it is just so pigmented that I cannot complain about any fallout. So I obviously wanna try other colors and I kind of wanna go into this Illuminati shade. Like who would I be if I didn't try the shade Illuminati in a Shane Dawson palette? That is literally what I grew up knowing him for, his conspiracy YouTube videos. I used to watch them all the time. And I just have to see, like, what does this shade look like? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick up the shade and I'm gonna press this on the outer corner of my eye. It is such a pretty green color. It's like a rich green shade. It has beautiful sparkles in it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it with my finger too just to see the difference. I mean, it is so creamy, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to begin blending it now. I left a little bit in the corner where I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna try the black shade from this palette. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to pick up the black shade. The black shade is called My Rides Here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna work this shade into the corner of my eye. So I'm applying a little bit of product because I definitely feel like, yeah, it is pigmented. Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson did not play for this. Like they came through with the pigment. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna blend it out now and see how it blends. So nice, guys. Like, are you guys seeing this? It blends out so easy. I am just blown away, honestly. I'm just gonna go in with this last color, which is Ranch. And I am just going to pop this onto the brow bone. It's like a really pretty iridescent white shade. Yeah, this is so pretty. All right, guys, so with that being said, I want to say that the application of the Conspiracy Palette is just, it is beautiful. It is so similar to the Mini Controversy, and I'm sure it's all the same formula, but I mean, from the color Illuminati to the mint green to the black, just ever so slightly in the corner, I'm so impressed. I'm gonna rate this a five stars on application for the Conspiracy Palette as well. I think they know what they're doing, and I think they created a formula like no other, so five stars for that. All right guys, so the last and final category we're gonna be talking about today is going to be the pricing of each one of these palettes. So let's go ahead and let's start with the mini controversy. As you guys know, from the packaging to the pan size of it, you're gonna get a total of nine shadows in this palette. So this palette will retail you for $28, and when you do the math, that's about $3 per eyeshadow in each pan. Typically, I would say that is a price that's a little bit more than I would wanna spend when it only comes to nine eyeshadows. But because this is more of a collectible item, I feel, and this is something that the makeup world hasn't seen before, I mean, a collaboration with Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star. I am gonna go ahead and rate this five stars because I think 
So he did a phenomenal job with everything in this palette. The only thing is obviously the range, which is a different category. So with that being said, guys, the pricing of this, I'm gonna rate it five stars. All right guys, so next up we have the giant, beautiful Conspiracy palette. And this bad boy right here has a total of 18 shades. It has a massive mirror. It has details I've never seen in an eyeshadow palette before. This is gonna retail you a total of $52. I have paid $80 for a bottle of foundation. You are getting 18 unique, beautiful shades. Jeffrey has one of those formulas that is just up there. I mean, there's really few companies that really compete with him. I am just super obsessed. I think they really, really did a phenomenal job with this. With that being said, guys, my final rating for the Conspiracy Palette is going to be five stars because I think all of these products are priced perfectly and they are 100% fair with the amount of effort, time, work, details, everything that was put into this. So the Mini Conspiracy Palette got a total of 17.5 stars, which absolutely means it is verified. And the Conspiracy Palette got a total of 18 stars which also means it's verified. Alright guys, so I went ahead and talked about the palettes. I did want to give you guys swatches of all of the lipsticks that he also launched with Shane Dawson. So I have all five of these beautiful lipsticks as well as the massive and giant The Gloss that we've heard so much about. These are all going to retail you $18. So I will go ahead and list all the names and all of the details in the description as well below so that you guys can purchase them. Alright guys, so I did want to show you guys a couple other items that I picked up from this collaboration with Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. So these are massive, beautiful pig mirrors. I went ahead and picked up a black and a pink. I also went ahead and picked up this really cute makeup bag, this traveling makeup bag. So it has a tiny little pig on it as well as the stars. I'm so obsessed with this. I got another bag. This one is a little bit smaller and it has a glossier finish. So I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway on my YouTube channel as well as Instagram. So the first giveaway is going to be on this YouTube video. I want you guys to follow me on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications, and comment down below why you guys love this palette and why you would want it yourself. I'm going to be giving away the mini palette as well as the controversy palette and one of the pig mirrors to one lucky winner. Good luck to all of you guys. I will be posting it in my next video's YouTube description. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I want to close out this video by giving my post notification shout out to my girl Jazzy Fizzle. Thank you so much for having your post notifications on girl. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys have to do is turn them on and comment when done. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Bye guys!